What will the cryptocurrency landscape look like in 2022? And what role will XRP play once the SEC v. Ripple case is settled? Furthermore, what did JP Morgan say about XRP that drew attention to it? What does this mean, and how will it affect the price of XRP? Keep an eye on the news to find out. But first, at the end of the month, we will give away $25 to one random subscriber to start on their XRP journey. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and comment in the comment section with your XRP thoughts. Let's help the XRP Hut community develop by pressing the like and subscribe buttons. We're approaching the end of 2021, a year in which the cryptocurrency market reached new all-time highs in terms of market capitalization and asset prices. Investors and the digital asset ecosystem are looking for signals of what to anticipate in 2022 and beyond as the market evolves. The bank is a key player in the crypto industry, having developed its own digital payment token and providing access to crypto to wealth management clients through the Grayscale and Osprey Trusts, as well as an in-house Bitcoin fund. JP Morgan has also made waves by stating that institutional investors are increasingly substituting Bitcoin for gold and that their preferences are shifting from Bitcoin to Ether. The digital asset XRP is highlighted in JP Morgan's North America Equity Research Report, which was released earlier this month, and states that it is primed for considerable adoption. According to a report by JP Morgan, XRP was created to make transactions on Ripple's blockchain-based digital payment network more convenient. Faster payments and fewer transaction fees are among the network's advantages. The paper lists the company's foundation year, 2012, as well as co-founders Jed McCaleb, who left to start Stellar, and Chris Larson, who is a co-defendant in the sex XRP case. Traditional money transfers, such as SWIFT transfers, are costly and can take up to five business days to complete, however. Transactions using Ripple's XRP can be done in as little as three to five seconds with transaction fees as low as 0.0001 XRP. Because of the multiple intermediary banks that charge both the sender and the receiver fees, SWIFT transactions are more expensive. The Ripple network includes over 100 financial institutions, including American Express, Bank of America, and Santander. The J.P. Morgan document then utilized Emi Yashikawa. Ripple's Senior Director of Global Operations, to illustrate why XRP is different from other stablecoins. XRP's role as a bridge asset in international settlement does not compete with stablecoins, but rather complements them. XRP is not tied to any currency, unlike stablecoins, which follow the volatility of their underlying currency. Coinbase has been mentioned as a major player in the adoption of XRP. Ripple has effectively advanced its global expansion this year, despite concerns that the case would force institutional partners to be wary. According to Ripple's chief executive officer Brad Garlinghouse, the business will try to hire a few hundred individuals to satisfy the growing demand for its blockchain solutions and the company's ambitious XRP aspirations. Garlinghouse wrote on Twitter, It was great to see you at Dan Murphy at hashtag FTAD. Despite challenges in the United States, Ripple has had a record-breaking year with ODL expansion and mean attraction, and we're planning to add a few hundred people next year to keep up with our rapid expansion. The tweet comes in response to a recent CNBC interview in which he commended Judge Sarah Netburn, the judge overseeing the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit. Ripple has won multiple times in the litigation as a result of Judge Sarah Netburn's decisions mandating an in-camera assessment of the sex privilege claims, which was a big setback for the plaintiff, and ordering the hearing of ex-SEC Commissioner William Hinman are two of them. The SEC has also been forced to explain a lot via admission requests on a variety of fronts, from XRP sales offshore to questions about the fair notice argument and whether the XRP ledger was fully functional at the time of the sales in 2013. The SEC has been ordered to explain a lot. The Hogan lawyers offered their thoughts on Ripple's big triumph. As part of the expert discovery process, Judge Sarah Netburn is currently hearing expert witnesses, which explains the lack of recent updates on the complaint. The SEC v. Ripple case looks to have raised Ripple's profile among investors and potential customers. Because of the litigation, clients are no longer hesitant to join the network, 
obtain access to XRP-powered liquidity, or build their own national digital currency. As it explores building its own central bank digital currency, the Republic of Palau, for example, has chosen to partner with Ripple, the partnership, which will focus on cross-border payment mechanisms in a USD-backed digital currency for Palau, was announced by Ripple. Now it appears that the blockchain company will be hiring hundreds of workers in 2022 in order to prepare for the impending liquidity hub launch. Ripple's on-demand liquidity solution has been supported by the technology for nearly two years. Ripple is now providing it as a client-facing solution in response to customer demand. With CoinMe as the first announced partner for the alpha version, Ripple will provide corporations with aggregated access to cryptocurrency market makers, exchanges, and OTC desks. CoinMe is a Bitcoin ATM provider with thousands of sites throughout the United States. Ripple Labs claims that mainstream crypto necessitates the participation of financial institutions, and that in order to do so, Businesses will soon source digital assets from the broader crypto market via the future crypto liquidity network designed specifically for businesses. Smart order routing to digital source assets at optimum prices from market makers, exchanges, and OTC desks will be used in the turnkey solution for financial institutions, which is expected to help accelerate the migration to crypto. Ripple Liquidity Hub allows businesses to let their end users to purchase, sell, and exchange digital assets at the best available prices across many venues. The startup also hopes to alleviate specific enterprise customer pain points, such as reducing pre-funding restrictions to free up operating cash and avoiding lengthy and resource-intensive integrations with a streamlined API. Ripple plans to add staking and yield generation, as well as other crypto assets, to its platform. Furthermore, the XRP Ledger recently received a game-changer upgrade that took a year to implement and is expected to boost its popularity. The negative UNL amendment, which enables network resilience when multiple validators are offline, has been added to Ripple's XRP Ledger. The blockchain specialist Chief Technology Officer David Schwartz expressed his joy on Twitter, writing, This is wonderful news. This change minimizes the vulnerability of the ledger to stoppage while maintaining decentralization. The negative UNL is a feature of the XRP ledger consensus protocol, according to XRP.org, that improves liveness or the network's capacity to go forwards after a partial outage. The negative UNL, according to XRP.org, is a list of trusted validators that have been declared down or dysfunctional by a consensus of the surviving validators. When deciding whether or not a new ledger version has attained consensus in the negative UNL, validators are ignored. The negative UNL has no effect on how the network processes transactions or what transactions' outcomes are, except for boosting the network's capacity to declare outcomes definitive during certain sorts of partial outages. Updates, device maintenance, and network issues can all cause validators to go offline. This amendment allows for quorum flexibility throughout that time period for validations. Let's see how it went on the 2nd of December. Despite staying in a three-week downtrend, Ripple's price has recovered from its intraday low on December 2nd. As is often the case, the trend of altcoins is similar to that of other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin plummeted to an intraday low of $55,842.26 before returning to its current price of $57,021.47. Bitcoin, which frequently sets the pace for other digital currencies, dipped to an intraday low of $55,842.26 before recovering to its current price of $57,021.47. XRP has dropped about 27.69% since hitting a two-month high earlier this month. In the session of December 2nd, it rallied off the day's low of 0.9562. At the time of writing, the altcoin was down 1.37% to 0.9767. On a two-hour chart, the Ripple price is trading below the 25- and 50-day exponential moving averages, indicating additional losses. In the immediate term, we expect the cryptocurrency to remain under pressure. As a result, it will most likely trade in a narrow range between the December 2nd low of 0.9562 and the 1.0160 resistance level. 
The bears will be able to retest the 0.9000 support zone if the price falls below the lower boundary of the horizontal channel. The bulls, on the other side, may be able to drive the ripple price to 1.0684. However, the bulls will need enough momentum to push the altcoin past the important support turned resistance zone of 1.1000 in order to retake control of the market. Are you an XRP investor? If you want to learn more about XRP, there are two more videos on the last screen that you can watch. Please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Thank you for viewing, and I hope to see you in the next video. Before you go, keep in mind that cryptocurrency prices fluctuate regularly. So by the time you see this video, it may have changed to a completely different value. This video's material does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other type of advice. And you should not treat it as such. The information in this video is provided solely for educational purposes and should not be construed as financial advice. Before making any investment decisions, do your own due investigation and talk with your financial advisor.